I'm beating Pokemon Heart Gold with only a Mudkip. I'm here to show all you simpletons that Mudkip is the strongest Pokemon in the world. This is the fourth game I've done it with, so if you don't know the rules, they're on screen now. Praise your new god and let's get going already! Oh, I got a message from Lyra. I know Pokemon games aren't exactly known for their complex writing, but you could have done better than this. You shouldn't mess with someone else's PC. Yeah, you're right. Let me access it. I got a Poke Gear. Oh yeah, I can make calls on it, can't I? How does it work again? Hello, Flash. I've gotten so used to hearing your voice, but you almost sound like a different person on the phone. Mom, I'm calling from right in front of you. I just don't understand this technology. It's a phone, Mom. I just can't explain it. Next thing you know, we'll have video communication and women politicians. Okay, I'm gonna leave you to it. So we're just not going to mention the fact we're taking the phone number of an old man who we've never met before and just accepting it. Aren't these games played by kids? It's kind of giving the wrong message, don't you think? Remember, don't take candy from strangers unless it's a rare candy, in which case go for it. Who the hell is this guy? Yeah, of course it's the redhead kid that would be the annoying one. Wait, you're telling me that guy broke into the lab but all he stole was a chikorita? And they say gingers get bullied for no reason. Okay, so before I go on, I just want to acknowledge something. You may have seen over the past year or so on YouTube, a lot of people trying to beat X game with Y condition. Beat a Mario game without touching a coin, beating a Sonic game without pressing right, etc. All happening from August 2018 onwards after YouTuber JRose11 beat Pokemon Red and Blue with a Magikarp. Something genuinely impressive, but now, everyone is doing it. Pokemon Crystal with Ditto, Heart Gold without damaging moves, Let's Go Pikachu with a Kakuna, there's a lot of them. And why do I bring this up? Because I want everyone to know I did this before it was trending. July 28th, 2016 was the first motherfucker playthrough. I'm the one who really started this movement. Motherfucker is so powerful she changed internet culture, bitches. You've shown us what you've got, and it is indeed good. However, you should take more care about your Pokemon. The way you treat your Pokemon can be too harsh. Remember, Pokemon are not tools of war. <coughs> yeah, alright. Long time no see, Flash. I've been waiting for you. This is from Professor Elm. The thing is, we would like you to take care of an egg. Well, that's a coincidence, because I'd like you to go fuck yourself. It looks like neither of us will get what we want. This place has a mystical quality to it, or a historic quality, or an eerie quality, or an ancient quality, or a solemn quality, or a frosty quality. In essence, it feels sort of ethereal. You really need to learn how to speak better. Your use of language has a really annoying quality to it. Or an exhaustive quality. Or a tedious quality. Or an indistinct quality. In essence, you're an absolute dumbass. Oh no! Team Rocket have returned! Whatever shall I do? I'm just a ten-year-old boy! <clears throat> Give me a break. We have not broken up. Actually, we did once, but we have come back to pursue Giovanni's ambition. What was Giovanni's ambition? Was it money? He wanted the Master Ball, I feel like all he was after was money. Maybe Mewtwo, I'm not sure. You really get spoiled on the later games, everything in those was about the end of ecosystems and bending time and space. You forget that at one point in Pokemon, there was just a gang. A bird Pokemon stole a stick of celery and ran away and I have to travel through this forest to find it? That's way too far-fetched. Oh, oh, oh. Oh dear. I don't think this was supposed to happen. I think the ROM I'm using isn't entirely glitch-free. Either that or it's trying to get rid of motherfucker before she becomes too strong. <sighs> I opened a branch here, but I can't sell my bicycles. Could you ride a bike and advertise for me? A free bike? Yeah, I'll take it. Do you promise to ride it all around the city? Yeah, of course I will. Wow, that's great of you. I'm not using the bike. Not ever. Going through a lighthouse, 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 going through a lighthouse. Ah, my fucking knees! Your Pokemon need some medicine before we can have a gym battle? Ugh, I don't like helping people, but if I have to... Yo, bitch, I need some medicine. What kind of medicine are you after? One that will heal an Ampharos. Ooh, well, I do have this special potion here. What makes it special? <clears throat> I'll never tell. You know what? Just give it to me. Are you watching underage porn on that TV? You got your medicine, leave me in peace! Okay, let's have a real talk for a second. 
The cheapest Pokeball you can get is 300 Poke Dollars. The Safari Zone costs 500 and you get 30. That equates to just over $6 per ball in a world where fresh water costs 200. Not only that, but you're given the opportunity to throw rocks and mud at these creatures and that's okay. I don't know what kind of slave breeding ring they're running here, but whatever it is. It gets the motherfucker seal of approval, good work. Mount Mortar! I'd rather get to know her first. Red Gyarados? Why is a Red Gyarados so special? Every Pokemon turns red when Motherfucker is around. Okay guys, I don't want to blow your mind, but I just discovered these towns have flavor text. Mahogany Town, a town with a suspicious air to it. It's a hiding place for ninjas. If you know there are ninjas there, then they aren't hiding very well, are they? Okay, now, bear with me a moment because there's something I want to say. As someone who has a slightly substantial audience watching his show, I feel it's important to use that power to try and make the world a better place. I don't really like to get too heavy and I know people feel poorly of people who suddenly get serious or whatever when they're just entertainers, but this is important, so here goes. Why is it such a weird thing in our society for boys to wear skirts? Seriously, have you ever worn a skirt? It's magical. It's like you're wearing nothing down there. You have that problem when you're a bloke that sometimes you get trousers that crush your balls a bit, but you do not have that problem with a skirt. I know guys technically have kilts, but that's not the same. I've lounged around my house in a skirt, no one's gonna tell me no. Wearing a skirt is equally as comfortable as not wearing pants in my mind. Seriously, if you've never worn a skirt, try it. You will not regret it. Team Rocket are invading Goldenrod? Oh my god! I hope they know about the bike shop! Who are you? We have some business going on. I was told not to let anyone pass but Team Rocket. Do you understand? No, 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 no I don't. That's not how this works. We're supposed to battle, we're supposed to battle and then you let me pass. When a trainer's eyes lock, they have to battle, that's the rule! Goldenrod City Radio Tower Elevator. Next stop, Observation Deck. Why the hell would a radio tower need an Observation Deck? Oh, you managed to get this far. You must be quite the trainer. We intend to take over this radio tower and officially announce our comeback. That should bring our boss Giovanni back from his solitary training. Surely if he's in solitude, he won't be hearing the gossip. Also, you guys have been doing like a decently competent job without him. Why do you really need him? I am sorry, but I must test you. Not to worry. You are only to answer a few questions. Yeah, I've heard that line before. What are Pokemon to you? Food for motherfucker, mostly. What helps you win battles? Same as question A. What is most important for raising Pokemon? Violence! Violence is an actual option! Do you know what's funny? Because of YouTube's policy on profanity, if I say this Pokemon's name, my video could be flagged because half of it is a swear word. In order to get around that problem, I'm going to be calling it Cunty Wankface. Uh, just throw a Pokeball, killing legendary Pokemon isn't as fun as it used to be. Which Pokemon would you like me to look after? Oh, it's this one here. I have to warn you, it's a little high maintenance. Jesus fuck, it's ho -Oh! Uh, actually, it responds to Cunty Wankface. Yo, what up, bitches? It's the Elite Four. More like Elite Four can hell. Why are these guys still relevant? You think you can beat motherfucker? I say fools. No one could truly cause end to the most powerful beast known to man. Even if the body perishes, the spirit lives on in another. The time and place may change, but the result is all the same. You will die at her hands. John 14 verses three through six. Oh, uh, by the way, Motherfucker desktop wallpaper is a thing. Download links in the description. Forward them to choose from as well. Don't say I give you nothing. I use this one as my Twitter banner. At Sir Flashcake if you want to follow. Now come on, just let me past already. Yeah, I know what the Elite Four is. Don't tell me to be courageous. Courage is for the scared. Let me fucking past. Welcome to the Pokemon League. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Will. I have trained all around the world, making my psychic type Pokemon more powerful. Yeah, all well and good. Are we not going to address the flying cubes? The foe Zatu used U-turn. Oh, come on, I don't want politics in my games. I am Koga of the Elite Four. I live in the shadows, a ninja. Does anyone writing this game know what a fucking ninja is? Jesus Christ, I know I have an advantage here, but talking to my mum is a bigger challenge than this. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. Uh, hey, wait, 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 the same Bruno is from Fire Red and Leaf Green? Oh shit, am I slow? There's still people alive in that region!
Fuck the Elite Four, I'm going back to Kanto. Okay, some bitch is gonna get fucked right now. Where's the strongest trainer? School trainers gather in Kanto. Gym leaders are especially strong. They won't be easy to defeat. I'll be the fucking judge of that. Lieutenant Surge, I beat you before. Blaine, I beat you before. Misty, you ginger. Go fuck yourself. Why is no one strong enough? Why is everything so pathetic? Why is there a radio tower where the Pokemon graveyard used to be? No, actually, that's a serious one. Why did they turn the Pokemon Graveyard in Lavender Town into a radio tower? I know the point of motherfuckers to kill everyone, but that is messed up. Mount Silver is a mountain that is home to many wild Pokemon. It's too dangerous for your average trainer, so it's off limits. We got our marker, boys. It's strange replaying all these Pokemon games. Hot Gold is so tame. Every game past second generation tried to end the world, and it's slightly refreshing. Well... Okay, I'm still trying to end the world, but you get my point. This is it. The top of Mount Silver. Whoever is beyond here is without a doubt the strongest trainer I will find. Ready or not, here I come. Yo, bitch! You're the strongest trainer! Aren't you cold? You don't have to wear a short sleeve shirt all the time. Oh, the strong silent type, are you? Prefer your actions to do the talking for you. I know someone else like that. 